something is hiding in our solar system, but it might not be Planet 9 or Planet X or Nibiru or Wormwood or the Goblin or the Destroyer. Michel Starr on Science Alert reports. This is an image by NASA Caltech artist of dwarf planet Sebna. Dwarf planet, yes. Sometimes we have asteroids or comets coming at us that they're uh, then classified as dwarf planets. Two days ago, when we had the Peru 8 magnitude earthquake, was the same day that we had the uh, twin asteroid, or maybe, maybe it was a dwarf planet, a twin asteroid, binary asteroid, because it had a, its own moon. It had its own moon rotating around it. Now, somewhere in the outer reaches of the solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune, something wonky is happening, they say. A few objects are orbiting differently from everything else, and we don't know why. Why is that happening? A popular hypothesis is that an unseen object called Planet Nine, or, you know, they call it whatever they want. They didn't call it Planet X, X being the unknown, so they called it Planet Nine by Caltech. Anyway... The unseen object called Planet Nine could be messing with these orbits. Astronomers are avidly searching for this planet. The, uh, but earlier this year, physicists came up with an alternative explanation why they think uh, explanation they think is more plausible than a than the planet. Let's see. Instead of one big object, the orbiting wobbles could be caused by the combination combined gravitational force of a number of smaller Kuiper Belt or Trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs for short. That's according to astrophysicists Antranik Sefilian of the University of Cambridge in the UK and Jihad Tuma of the American University of Beirut in Lebanon. If it sounds familiar, that's because Sefilian and Tuma are not the first to think of this idea but their calculations are the first to explain significant features of the strange orbits of these objects, while taking into account the other eight planets in our solar system. A hypothesis for Planet Nine was first announced a couple of years ago in a 2016 study. Astronomers studying a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt noticed that several TNOs were quote-unquote detached from the strong gravitational influence of the solar system gas giants, and they had weird looping orbits that were different from the rest of the Kyber belt. But the orbits of these six objects were also clustered together in a way that did not appear random. Something seemed to have tugged them into that position. According to modeling, a giant heretofore unseen planet could do that. So far, this planet has remained elusive, not necessarily odd, since there are considerable technical challenges to seeing a dark object that far away, especially when we don't know where it is. But its evasiveness is prompting scientists to seek alternative explanations. Quote, the Planet 9 hypothesis is a fascinating one, but if the, hypothesis ninth planet, the hypothesized ninth planet does exist, it has so far avoided detection, end quote. Cephilian said back in January when their study was released, adding that the team wanted to see if there was a less dramatic explanation of the word, the weird TNO orbits. Well, maybe they should use infrared cameras. Who knows what kind of telescopes they were using? Perhaps their telescopes were not the right type, because if you had an infrared, you didn't have to... Uh, rely on the light bouncing off the object. You could see it from its coolness or its uh, heat that it's giving off. Anyway, uh, he says, we thought rather than allowing for a ninth planet and then worry about its formation and unusual orbit, why not simply account for the gravity of small objects consisting, constitute, constituting a disk beyond the orbit of Neptune and see what it does for us. The researchers created a computer model of the detached the uh, TNOs as well as the planets of our solar system and their gravity and a huge disk of debris past Neptune's orbit. 
by applying, applying tweaks to elements such as the mass, eccentricity, and orientation of the disk, the researchers were able to recreate the clustered looping orbits of the detached TNOs. Quote, if you remove Planet 9 from the model and instead allow for lots of small objects scattered across a wide area, collective attractions between those objects could just as easily account for the eccentric orbits we see in some TNOs, Sefilian said. So this solves a problem that scientists from the University of Colorado Boulder had when they first floated the collective gravity hypothesis last year. Although their calculations were able to account for the gravitational effect on the detached TNOs, they couldn't explain why their orbits were all tilting the same way. And there's still another problem with both models. In order to produce the observed effect, the Kuiper belt needs a collective gravity of at least a few Earth masses. Current estimates, however, put the mass of the Kuiper belt at just 4 to 10 percent of Earth's mass. So that's not possible. But according to solar system formation models, it should be much higher. And Sophilian notes it's hard to view the entirety of the debris disk around the star when you're inside it, so it's possible that there is a lot more to the Kuiper belt than we're able to see. And he said, while we don't have direct observational evidence for the disk, neither do we have it for Planet 9, which is why we are investigating other possibilities. Well, you know, they're, they're just coming up with theories because they're investigating possibilities. They're, they're just creating theories, hypotheses, because they have not seen the planet yet. Whereas NASA told us that we do have a brown dwarf star at the edge of our solar system. Maybe that's it. Maybe they should talk to NASA and say, well, you know, give us pictures of this brown dwarf star that you found. Maybe that's it. Uh, anyway, they, they, he also goes to say it's also possible that both things could be true. There could be a massive disk in, and a ninth planet. With the discovery of each new TNO, we gather more evidence that might help explain their behavior. The team's research was published in the Astronomical Journal, and you can read the full paper on the link here that's in the article ARXIV. And this version of the article was first published January of 2019. And uh, it's just on today, 20, well, not today, a couple of days ago, 25th of May, 2019. Now, the people that for, from Caltech that uh, made this diagram and that first came out to say that they've uh, found their perturbation of the outer planets, thinking that it's just a matter of time before they do find Planet Nine, are definite that it is a planet and not a conglomerate of smaller bodies from the Kuiper Belt. They will be going to uh, the telescope in Mauna Le in Hawaii, Mauna, Mauna Loa, I think, Mauna Kea, and they will be taking infrared pictures of the skies trying to find it. And they believe it's just a matter of maybe five years uh, before they do actually locate it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.